In the heart of Ganazodi region, a quiet but powerful transformation is underway. A transformation born not from politics or policy, but from the earth itself, where deep beneath the soil lies a potential so massive, so commercially significant, that it could rewrite Ghana's industrial future. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. This is not the story unfolding in the Gyamarume area within the Kajebi district isn't just about rocks or minerals. It's about discovery, resilience, and a nation's leap towards a diversified and modern economy. Since 2020, an ambitious exploration project spearheaded by the Ghana Integrated Iron and Steel Development Corporation, known as GIISD, and its technical partner, Africa Exploration and Minerals Group, or AEMG, has been investigating the subsurface riches of the Odi region. And now, after years of careful work, patient study, and scientific diligence, early results are revealing something extraordinary. Initial data indicates that the area holds high-quality iron ore deposits, so rich in content that they could rival the best in West Africa. With global demand for iron ore surging, driven largely by booming construction and manufacturing sectors worldwide, this couldn't come at a better time. That demand is growing at a rate of 3% annually, and nations across the globe are scrambling to secure reliable sources. Ghana may very well be on the cusp of becoming one of those trusted suppliers. But it's not just about exporting ore. This discovery could be the cornerstone of something bigger a domestic iron and steel industry that powers everything from infrastructure to innovation, the kind of industry that creates jobs, builds cities, and anchors an economy in resilience. The exploration campaign so far has zeroed in on a particularly promising area, and what they've found is generating genuine excitement. According to GII SDEC, some of the oxidized iron ore samples taken from the site show iron oxide concentrations as high as 82% which translates to roughly 57% iron content. On average, the ore grades have shown about 67% iron oxide, or approximately 47% iron. These numbers might seem like technical jargon, but for those in the mining world, they are gold, or more accurately, iron. As GESDEX CEO William Okofu Darte put it, these figures are still preliminary, but they're incredibly promising. Laboratory confirmation is still underway, but the early quality assessments suggest that these ores might actually be better than some currently being mined in other parts of Africa. It's a tantalizing prospect, and one that hasn't gone unnoticed. Investors are already circling, eager to get in on the ground floor of what might be Ghana's next great mineral boom. But Mr. Darte and his team are not rushing. They are prioritizing accuracy and completeness over speed determined to build a foundation of solid data before opening the gates to negotiation. This methodical approach is one of the reasons why the project is being taken so seriously. It's not just hype, it's science-backed, professionally executed, and strategically managed. The exploration process has included remote sensing, geophysical surveys, and now extensive drilling. Out of an initial list of 54 potential mineral targets, AMG has focused in on 11 key drilling zones. Drilling began in mid-2024, and so far, eight of the planned 30 drill holes have been completed. The broader program will cover 15 drill lines extending over approximately 2,500 meters, with completion expected by June 2025. From there, a detailed resource estimate will follow in September 2025, providing a clearer picture of just how much iron ore lies beneath the surface, and how viable it would be for large-scale extraction and processing. According to Franklin Mace, the chief geologist at AEMG, the drilling has revealed consistent intersections with banded iron formations, averaging 30 meters in width. This is a crucial finding as it indicates not just surface level potential, but substantial underground continuity. What makes the findings even more intriguing is the presence of serpentinite rocks, which are often indicators of nickel deposits. This suggests that the site could be more valuable than initially thought, with the potential to yield more than just iron. Geological mapping has identified around 42,000 square meters of fully oxidized ironstone and another 36,000 square meters of partially oxidized deposits, 
These stretch across an eight kilometer belt that dips steeply eastward. Adding to the promise are fault zones in the rock formations that could make accessing the ore easier, another positive sign for eventual mining operations. More than 100 rock samples have already been tested by Intertech Laboratory and the University of Ghana, both confirming high iron content. Still, the team acknowledges that drilling is necessary to understand the depth and continuity of the ore bodies. As Professor Frank Nyame from the University of Ghana, a technical advisor to the project, explained, it's visible on the surface, but we need to confirm what lies beneath. That's what makes this phase of exploration so critical. It's not just about what you can see, it's about confirming what you can mine sustainably and economically. And if all goes according to plan, this project could mark the beginning of a new industrial era for Ghana. GIS Tech's long-term vision is not just to dig and ship the ore, but to build a full-fledged domestic iron and steel value chain. That means refining the ore locally, manufacturing steel domestically, and creating everything from construction materials to automotive parts right here in Ghana. It's a vision that could diversify the national economy and reduce its over-reliance on gold and cocoa, which have traditionally been the country's main exports. Currently, Ghana holds an estimated 1.7 billion tons of iron ore reserves, including the massive Sheeny deposit, which alone contains 1.3 billion tons with a grade of 33.8% iron, and the Opon Mansi deposit, which holds 147 million tons at 52.5% iron. A U.S. $600 million mining operation is already scheduled to begin at Sheeny by late 2025. The ultimate goal, to slash Ghana's annual steel imports, which currently sit at around $900 million, and turn the country into a net exporter of steel products by 2027. It's an ambitious goal, but one that appears increasingly within reach. Beyond the economics, the project is also earning praise for its approach to community engagement. In an era where illegal mining has ravaged landscapes and livelihoods, the structured and transparent nature of this exploration effort stands out. Local leaders like Osabarima Osebonsu V, paramount chief of the Asado traditional area, have expressed support for the initiative. He emphasized the community's hope that the project will bring employment and other opportunities to local residents. That sentiment echoes across the region, where people are eager for development that respects both the land and the people who live on it. Despite some logistical hurdles like difficult terrain and limited access, GIS DEC and its partners are pressing on. The Ghana Geological Survey Authority is providing essential support alongside consulting firm SRK and the local contractor Bob Josh Drilling Company, which has provided portable rigs specifically designed to handle the rugged terrain of the area. It's not an easy road, but it's a purposeful one, paved with dedication, science, and a commitment to national progress. This project, if successful, won't just be about mining. It will be about transformation. It will be about turning what was once just another patch of land into, into a cornerstone of industrial strength. A symbol of what can happen when vision meets action, when strategy meets opportunity, and when a country decides to look inward for its growth. Mr. Darda summed it up best when he said, this could be a transformative project. By the end of September 2025, we should know the full potential, and then we can take the next big steps. As we await those results, one thing is already clear. Ghana is no longer just a country of cocoa and gold. It is a nation on the rise with the potential to become a heavyweight in the global iron and steel industry. The journey has just begun, but the path forward looks stronger than ever, just like the metal they're uncovering beneath the soil. Keep watching, because this is one story that's only going to get bigger. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.